Well, Green Farms opened up in Arizona in 2014, and they say any professional business has to have a footprint on social media, only theirs vanished. Green Farms social media manager, Melissa Green, says a few of their social media posts were flagged in the past, but in December, it just said that we couldn't log into our Instagram, and then we looked and it was completely gone. She says they got shut down with no warning. I freaked out because that was a lot of you know hard work and time. Melissa says she tried to appeal, but never heard back from Instagram or its owner, Facebook. So she started over from scratch again. Christmas morning, I actually <laughs> couldn't log in again. And again. We started another one, which was Green Farms with two underscores. And again. We started 2.0. That one once again got deleted. Green dot farms 2.0. That was deleted the next day. Green Farms 3.0, which we have still to this day. We went to Instagram and asked why. Within a day and a half, Green Farms first and largest account with nearly 10,000 followers was reinstated nearly four months after Instagram says it was removed in error. This is my job. You know, I am an employee here and for that to be like messed with isn't okay. We were told the other pages violated Instagram's policies, which say you can't advertise or sell marijuana on their platform or include contact info like a number, email, or address. You're only allowed to advocate for the use or legalization of marijuana. But Instagram says it's the page admin's responsibility to know about the policy, which has been in effect for at least five years. Putting anything other than just a smile or an emoji and just one photo is pretty much what we're going to be sticking to. And Green Farms says their Facebook page, with the, which about with about 4,000 members, was also shut down at the beginning of the month, and they've started a new one. Live in Mesa, Lindsay Riser for Arizona's Family.